for us to be able to understand how Uganda can propel its economy through innovations, through research and development. There is a need to strengthen the doctoral education system in Uganda. That is actually how we conceived this project that we are now calling CEPID. We adopted a framework, a framework that is called Principles of Innovative Doctoral Training. This was designed by the European Commission, that was in 2011. This framework brings out the ideal situation if doctoral education is to be termed to be innovative. What are the features? What should characterize doctoral training? So we adopted this framework to do our analysis at the two levels, at the national and institutional level. So when we did this analysis, we came with pertinent findings in regard to these principles, particularly, and also findings that pointed out the general state, the general conditions of the doctoral education and training in Uganda. One of the major issues was that uh, doctor training is low. Tra doctor training in Uganda is very low. Um, you can imagine that between 1970 and the year 2020, Uganda had been able to train 1,197 PhDs. And the other finding we noted is that the quality, especially research excellence, is very low, is very poor. There is misalignment between what the government and the institutions commit themselves to do in research excellence and what the practice speaks. We identified these systemic constraints. What then are we saying? What should be done? We are advocating for transdisciplinary, interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary option, research options. We are advocating for exposure to the relevant industry so that these PhDs get, to, get exposure to acquire those transferable skills, which they cannot get if we continue with the traditional way we are training their PhDs. We strongly recommend that the government of Uganda should integrate doctoral education into national development planning and commit funding and resources. At the center of it, we need to ask the question, what are the qualities, the attributes of a doctorate that we want to train now? What are the attributes of a doctorate that the economy needs? In, if we're able to answer that and develop com comprehensive tools of assessment and structured systems to evaluate and assess that, then doctoral education can be improved.